Hi, Michelle here. Welcome to Serenity Studios. In this video, I want to give you the backstory to the original painting that was the three canvases underneath of Earth and Song. And also for those who are really interested in some of the materials and techniques that I used, I'm going to go through some of those so that you can have a look at the resources if you're a painter as well. So let's have a look at the backstory to the original canvases. So these three canvases were a collaboration and part of an exhibition I did back in 2007 with an Aboriginal woman, Fiona Wellington. She and I devised a series of works and this was one of the works in the exhibition back in 2007. And the three canvases have a foundation colour, red, brown and black. And these colours represented for her, her some of the aspects of her Aboriginality in terms of the Aboriginal flag, black, red and yellow, representing Earth, the Indigenous people's colour and the sun. And we felt that there was a lot of her story that I wanted to depict in these three canvases that was about her journey. So she had been through quite a significant health crisis about two years before we did this work together. And there'd also been a history of health and physical issues in her, uh, in her youth that I wanted to represent in this um, disconnected way of doing the three canvases as a body map. So I lay the, um, my subject down and I painted around her body using cigarette filters um, to get that dot circle um, in the white paint and then for her angel's wings or to represent the sort of spiritual aspects of her we used the cigarette rolly papers named uh, in Australia they're called tally hose so that was part of the original work and then it was displayed discontinuous so that the canvases were then put together um, in the exhibition in a way that made um, me, I guess I wanted the audience to see the discontinuous nature of, it wasn't just one whole happy body, it was a person who had been through crises and traumas. So that was the original story of the three canvases that became the ground for Of Earth and Song. In the following video, you'll see a time lapse of me painting most of the stages of this, these three canvases. And what was interesting was there was a couple of times where I was so in and focused on what I was doing, I completely forgot to turn on the camera. So you will see there's some elements that just appear. Of course that happens. But it was interesting because when you get in the zone, there's not the idea of it being recorded. It's just the interaction that I had with the canvas at the time and the materials. So I hope you enjoy part two of this, which is the time lapse video. And if you're interested as an artist to have a look at some of the materials that I use, some of the resources and tools, then I'll, I've put those together in a separate little video that you can watch part three. Okay, I'll let you get into the watching. Bye for now.